Hello and welcome to Yesterday's Airlines. As you've probably seen, I have just undertaken a detailed review of the new NG models, 737 MAX sample molds. But obviously, no mold lives in isolation and it's going to be compared directly with the competitors. And the 737 MAX is one of the most important aircraft types, or certainly will be, over the next 20, 30 years. So there's going to be a lot of competition in 400 scale for your dollar. So I think it's worthwhile to take a quick look comparing the new MAX sample from NG to the existing MAX molds. And as you can see, what we've got here are three of the existing molds that are out there. There is one missing, I'll talk about that in a minute. But um, what we're gonna do is take a quick look around and see how the new NG Max compares to these ones, what I think of these molds. Before we do that, please subscribe to the channel if you like the video. Obviously check out the Max reviews that I've just done on the website at yesterdaysairlines.com and also on the YouTube channel here for the NG sample molds. Check me out at Instagram too, at Yester Airlines. And thanks very much for watching and supporting the channel. But now let's get on and have a quick look, see how these Maxes compare to each other. Okay, so welcome back to this part of the review. As you can see in the background, we've got three of the four existing 737 MAX molds. On the very left, there's a China Southern example, and that is by Gemini Jets, so using the JC Wings mold. In the middle, there's a China Eastern example from Phoenix, and on the right, there's another China Eastern example from Panda models. And obviously the front here, you can see you've got the NG sample. Now there is obviously a fourth, or I say a fifth, um, Max mold, and that is by Aero Classics. It is actually the most used mold, and I don't own any examples of that, um, which kind of, I guess, <laughs> illustrates my view on it. Um, I'm not gonna discuss it in detail, especially because the owner of Aero Classics is very upset when you do. Suffice to say, it isn't great. <laughs> um, but Aeropressors have used it very widely. Uh, it's, it's not you know, shockingly bad, but in comparison, I think it is not the best of the mold. So I'll leave it at that and let's have a look at the ones that we have here, which are probably from manufacturers um, that are bought by more of the mainstream anyway. So I'll just move the NG version off the box here and let's start off with the Gemini and JC Wings version. Now I have to say that this actually is a really nice 737, whereas I don't really hold their next gen 737s in a lot of stock. You've got to say that they've done actually a good job here with their Max. Um, it is a nice model. There's a lot of nice detailing in the print and everything, as you would expect, but also if you look at it, it's got a decent nose region it's got a really nice set of undercarriage and nicely sized nose gear doors. Now I know that recently some releases have had an overpolished nose cone and they look pretty poor when they're very pointy. Having said that, um, they're not the only manufacturers had issues with overpolishing nose cones recently. Um, it seems to be an odd thing that's been going on in 2022. But this version looks great, looks perfectly ordinary, this Gemini release. Um, and you can see also that the wings and engines and the winglets, it all looks really nice and it's a good package of an aircraft. And I don't really have a lot to criticize um, this mold about. I really quite like it. Um, at the tail again, it looks very nice. You could argue here um, that one criticism maybe is that the, the rudder region, this, this tail join is too wide and you don't get the free rudder you see sometimes. You could also argue that they haven't necessarily got the um, that little curve and change of the horizontal stabs in. But the tail cone's looking good, and broadly I'd say that the JC Wings Gemini Max is a solid model and a mold that I have absolutely no problem in acquiring. And from this angle, you can also see that sometimes it does look a little bit square here um, around the cockpit. But again, these are relatively minor complaints. I think that it's a good mold um, and a strong competitor for the type in 400 scale. Now I'll move on to next to the Panda mold, which came out actually before, um, and it's already the first mold. And annoyingly this mold, which I really like, has disappeared from use and who knows where it is. Certainly Panda seemed to have lost use of it. 
um, which is annoying. I think, again, if you compare it, it's perhaps marginally nicer than the Gemini version. It's got um, a really nice curving forehead here. It doesn't have that kind of slight square attitude. Um, it's got a more detailed nose gear leg and it's very nice. Um, it looks really nice across the board there. And once again, the engines and the wing join are good. Um, arguably, I think the wing join is perhaps not as nice um, in this region just down here where you are joining the front. I don't think it's quite as nice as on the Gemini mold. So again, it's horses of courses, but broadly, you've got to say again, it's a nice mold. And when you look at this area, it's got a better um, join for the horizontal stabs. It's got a nicer rudder region here. Um, but unfortunately, as I say, this mold seems to have vanished. Ironically, most of my maxes are on this mold because Panda did produce a good range of Chinese maxes back in the day, but they've all seemed to have disappeared. The mold seems to have vanished. I don't know what's happened to it. It's a real shame. It's a lovely mold. A strong competitor, again, and arguably, I think this is the best max on the market at the present time. Interesting to see um, when the first NG releases, how they compare, but I'd say that the NG mold is perhaps slightly nicer in the node region, uh, slightly better in the wing join here, um, but a very strong competitor this would be if it existed anymore. Lastly, we're gonna check out the Phoenix model. Um, Phoenix just don't make good 737s, this is the problem. Um, they always look slightly fat to me, but also, it's the nose gear or the undercarriage that really stuffs them. I have to say that if you don't look at the nose gear, this model actually doesn't look too bad. Incidentally, the reason I own this model is because I picked it up for like 10, 10 pounds from an, an aviation trials. It's a model for displaying my model airport, not for display in the cabinets. But yeah, actually the nose region is pretty solid and not bad at all. I don't really have major issues here. So it's a significant improvement on there next generation 77. However, unfortunately, the nose gear itself is a bit of a dog's breakfast again. It's nowhere near long enough. Um, I mean, it's, it's all... Yeah. <laughs> it's in the wrong place as well, isn't it? I mean, it's way too far back. It's, it's like, almost like it's been fitted poorly, but I've seen so many of these Phoenix Maxes and they've all got this kind of knackered nose gear where the gear is too far back and it's too short. It just doesn't look like a Max and it even doesn't look particularly good if this was a next generation version. Moving to the engines, as I say, they're the only people who are producing um, see-through hollow core engines, but you've got to say those fan blades look pretty rubbish. There's no real patterning on those, they look poor. Um, and when you move to look at the, the engines for side, they look okay, but again, you've got to say these chevrons here, not very well defined. It's okay, but it's not great. And even when you get to the winglets, they're kind of, yeah, it's not as nice as I think it is on the other molds. If I can bring in the um, the Panda version, for example, the wings just seem sharper, just seem better to find on the Panda version. And then when you come to the tail, again, it's all a bit of a dog's breakfast. Then you, you can't even see the rudder, let alone having a separate free rudder. It's just a long join here, no real differentiation for that. But even worse, you've got to say, that when you get close to the back end of this aircraft, it's just all wrong. The tail here is way too short, the tail cone. The whole point of a Max is that it's got this long tail cone, and then they've gone to produce one which doesn't even show that. And if you compare the two side by side, you can see how different they are. So that's poor. And again, when you get to horizontal stabs, they're kind of just there, they just kind of sit in. So this mold is my least favorite of the ones that I own. Um, is it inferior to the Aero Classics version? It's probably just as bad, but in different ways. Not a mold that I would recommend, um, to be honest, to this Phoenix Max. So it's good to see that in that sense that NG are producing the Max because it is clear that of the four molds that do exist at the present time, you've got two pretty mediocre molds in the Aero Classics and Phoenix versions. You've got one excellent mold in the Panda version, which is not used anymore. 
And you've got one other pretty damn good mold in the Gemini JC version if they get the nose cone right. So the real competition for this NG Max, I think, comes from that Gemini Jets JC wings mold. It is the best of the existing maxis that's out there as long as they get the nose correct. So it will be good to have the choice between the two. Uh, but as long as NG can get that nose gear length resolved, just make it slightly longer, like that, rather than that, then I think that this mold probably has it, the market largely sewn up for itself. It is a very nice mold unless Panda start producing maxis again. And it really does seem like that's not going to happen. So that's a quick roundup of the existing 77 Max 8 molds that are on the marketplace. I hope you found it vaguely useful. I probably will do a more detailed comparison at the website in the future. Can't make any promises, but may well do. But for me, as I said, I think the new NG version is looking really good, but there is strong competition here from the Panda mold and both the Gemini and JC mold. The Phoenix one, a bit of a non-starter, I would say. Anyway, thanks very much for watching, guys. I'll see you next time. That's it for this video. See you later.